Hey everyone, so it was two years ago today that my son found me lying on my kitchen floor, barely clinging to life. I had suffered a stroke three days prior and lied on my kitchen floor, unable to get help until my son found me on Saturday. When he found me, he said that he thought the TV was on and it was actually me um, talking gibberish. I had imaginary friends, I call them, that I would ask for some water and they would bring me a cup and the cup was always empty. And I just remember the last day I asked for a cup and asked them to please not drink it all. There was also a tall, lengthy female that would morph into my son and my dog and so much that when my son found me, I looked at him and said that he looked like my son, but he wasn't. And I even told the police he was an imposter. Um, since then, it's been in and out of hospitals, which I just, as you can see, had cervical surgery um, and am actually leaving today from a rehabilitation hospital. Um, it's my fourth hospital stay um, and I have many more surgeries to go. I'm unable to walk independently. I use a walker and um, sometimes when it's bad a wheelchair. But the reason why I want to talk to all of you is because of what happened um, after my stroke, which these days, unfortunately, we hear about everyone who doesn't make it. Well, I made it and um, have had to deal with a lot of adversity. I, sorry about that, I am, um, was working for BBVA Compass for almost six years when I had my stroke. I was a branch manager and was very stressed in my job. It was a very um, stressful, let's just say, job. and. But I went home sick on a Wednesday. I um, don't remember calling in Thursday, but um, I know Friday I did not call in. And not one person from BBV at Compass called my emergency contact. So that's my first thing is, you know, they always ask you for an emergency contact when you get hired and so go to your company as soon as you can and ask them why they use that you know what they use the emergency contact for and if you don't show up for work you think it's you know common knowledge but obviously it wasn't in my case um, because nobody was called my emergency contact there was no welfare check um, when I did not show up for work. So then I went into a rehabilitation. I was in a rehabilitation hospital for two months. And that entire time I didn't receive any communication. I got well, not even flowers, um, nothing from BBVA Compass. I was the one calling them to make sure that, you know, I was going to get my short term disability. When I returned home, I was still in a wheelchair, unable to walk, and I called to inform them that I was going to be getting physical therapy, and this the whole time, my intentions were to come back to work. Um, you know, I wasn't planning that I would never walk again, um, and so about a week later, my son went to get the prescriptions, um, my first set since I had been home.
from the rehabilitation hospital and he came home and told me to call the pharmacist. When I did, the pharmacist informed me that my benefits had been terminated. And it was cost about $600 to get um, my prescriptions. I then called my HR as soon as my pharmacist told me that and I indeed was told that I no longer was em employed by BBVA Compass and no one could tell me why. I called many people from HR that I knew and they would tell me, oh, I'll get back to you and then I was ghosted. No one ever called, no one ever um, emailed, texted, nothing to why I was terminated. So I did receive long-term disability, um, and that's because when I called in the first time, they sent me a packet and I filled that out immediately and got it turned in, and luckily for that, for that I got it in five days before my termination. And that's why I was able to get long-term disability. So what you need to know there is that what are, what's your company's policies, you know, are they going to terminate you, terminate your benefits? Um, I had to go on COBRA, which was three times um, what I paid for insurance. And luckily it was just me. Imagine a family. Um, it would be impossible to to pay that on 60%. Um, oh, and you go six months without getting a paycheck when you file long-term disability. So I had to use all of my investment, my retirement. Again, this whole time, BBVA Compass, you know, never once reached out to me, tried to help me in any way. As I was going through doctors, trying to learn, you know, learn to walk, doing physical therapy. And my last thing that you should know is I did find out that I had where I could have paid about $10 extra a month. The most companies have it. And I could have gotten $20,000 right in my pocket. I never thought something like this could happen to me. And... So I never paid for it, and it did. I'm 43 years old, um, on my way up in my career, hard worker, um, and never thought I'd have a stroke. So, and as you see on the news, it's happening to everybody um, younger these days, I guess, or we're hearing about it more. And again, most of the time, unfortunately, we don't get to hear about the people that live and then what they go through. So just know your company, know what you have set up in case something like that happens. Um, and I hope this helps you in some way. It's two years and like I said, I just am leaving. I'm in the hospital right now um, and had to have a, a screw and plate put in my C4, C5, which I already have one in my C5, C6. And I have made my whole back is fractured. It's, um, I have a long road ahead of me and it's been two years. So I hope something like this never happens to you. Um, but if it does, hopefully this will help you be more prepared. And feel free to leave me messages, um, and I will get back to you if you have any questions. Um, and again, um, just make sure you're prepared. Um, I wish I would have been, um, because I, I'm in a situation that um, I don't, I, I'm not living like I used to, and it's, and it's really difficult. So... I hope you all have the rest day, and I hope this help, helps you. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.